guys, Melinda here, back in the kitchen. Uh, just got back from Trader Joe's. We're getting ready for a winter storm to hit in Philadelphia. So my husband's at the grocery store. I hit Trader Joe's and a couple of other places and thought I would share what I got. Um, so got some usual culprits. Got the Trader Joe's uh, restaurant style white corn tortilla chips. These are my favorite, my husband's favorites. We use them for taco salad. We use them to snack. Delicious. I also got two bags of the La Salades de Midi, I think is how you say it. Um, it is green leaf lettuce, frigé, radicchio, and carrot blend. Um, it's one of my favorite salad mixes that they have. I also got the mini cucumbers because they're mini. And I picked up two things of kombucha. Um, I really liked what I got last week. Um, so this week I got Watermelon Wonder uh, from Synergy is the brand. Um, I really liked it. It's kind of like a fizzy soda that's tea, but fermented because that's what it is, fermented tea. And then I picked up another of the Golden Pineapple because I really liked that one. I picked up some olive oil spray. Another thing of pepper, because I go through twice as much pepper as I do salt. Uh, another usual suspect, the um, spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. This is one point per serving, which a serving is two tablespoons. Um, and that's on all plans, one point. I picked up these uh, on the recommendation of a YouTuber I watch. There are the chicken cilantro mini wontons. Thought those might be good to snack on. Picked up some carrot medallions because I really like these. Um, not only are they delicious, but they are visually appealing to me. Some enchanted crackers because I always get these. They're one point each on all plants. And then I got these, these are new to me. Uh, they are the cookie thins in the Meyer lemon. Um, you get nine cookies for 110 calories. I'll put the points down below, but I love anything Meyer lemon. So I got those to try. And then I got these to try. Um, they're soft bite mini almond biscotti. Um, you can have th there's three per serving and it's 150 calories. I believe it was five points for three, but I may just have one at a time. So they're like one or two points a piece. Um, but yeah, I thought I would give it a shot. And then I got another bag because I'm trying to get rid of my plastic ones and only have cloth. Moving forward, I went to Kohl's. Uh, I had to do an Amazon return. And every time you do an Amazon return um, at Kohl's, this is a little tip for you. You get a 25% off coupon to spend in Kohl's. So, um, I actually wanted to get a couple things, so I did. Um, I'm not going to unwrap both of these, but I got two candles. They were on sale. Uh, I think they were, let me look at the receipt. I think they were buy one, get one 50% off. So they're normally $19.99. Um, I got one for $10 off. And this is the farm stand ice cream scent. It is so amazing. Uh, it smells like vanilla ice cream with whipped cream on top. And I'm not mad at it. So, yeah. And then I got some shirts. Um, I wanted to get a couple more t-shirts for myself. And um, I got a couple for my, my son and my husband. This one is for my son. It says, I am... I am a nervous Rex, and uh, I thought that he would like that, because um, we're corny in this house, as if you couldn't tell from my uh, squad shirt here with my, um, oh my goodness, I just lost my train of thought. The witches. <laughs> the Sanderson sisters. Wow. Uh, it's that kind of day. Um, I got this one for myself because I am a very sarcastic person. So I had to get that one. 
And then I got this one for my husband. It's a Cobra Kai. We just finished watching the series on, um, was it Netflix, I think? Yeah, Netflix. Um, so I got him the shirt. And then I got myself one in a different color. It kind of looks like a Harley shirt, but it's not as a Cobra Kai. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. And then the only other thing that I did while I was out is I got my nails redone and uh, I got some women's multivitamins. I had bought these. I had to go exchange them. Um, if you ever buy these from CVS, they're really good. They don't upset my stomach. Some um, gummies that are vit vitamin gummies upset my stomach. I can't take pill vitamins. They make my stomach upset. But these do not. However, make sure you check the bottom. Um, I didn't check the bottom <laughs> The one time I didn't check the bottom and it, they were all melted into the side. So when I opened it up, it was just like one big gel glob. So I went and exchanged it for ones that are loose. Um, and that's all I got. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to share, um, and I've shared this before, so, uh, don't be annoyed, please. <laughs> is I got my, I order monthly from Grove uh, Collaborative. And I do that because I want the Meyer, Mrs. Myers products and they're cheaper on the website and I get some free stuff uh, when I order. So um, I had gotten an email that it was since it was my birthday uh, that I got something free and uh, I really liked what they had. So um, what I got for free was this handcrafted soap bar and it's in peppermint. And let me tell you, it smells so good. Uh, this is going to go up in my bathroom. I don't use a lot of bar soap, um, but this is an organic coconut and olive oil soap, so I will give it a try. Um, plus, it's peppermint. So, uh, I am obsessed with these. These are the walnut and cellulose scrubber sponges. I get a, a package every month. I think I have an extra one down there, but um, I have been working on this wall back here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my wall is now a chalkboard wall and um i spent some time washing off the chalk and redoing it because i didn't like the way it looked so um yeah picked up those um i this is a new item i hadn't seen this before on the site i've seen the myers hand soap this is the foaming hand soap and i love foaming hand soaps so i got it in the oat blossom scent i think this is probably my favorite scent and I can't find oat blossom anything in the store. I can only find it on Grove. So I haven't looked on Mrs. Meyer's website uh, directly. Probably has it on there, but since I'm already ordering other stuff, uh, I usually get it from Grove Collaborative. And then I picked up another one of the gel, the gel hand soap. Um, I like this one in the kitchen just because usually I'm trying to get like onion smell off my hands or food off my hands. And I don't necessarily want a foaming one for that, where a foaming one I would probably use after I go to the bathroom, if I'm being honest. Um, I picked up some more of the dishwasher tabs. These are not always in stock on Grove, but I love them. They work really well with our dishwasher. So if I see them, I pick them up because you can never have too many in my opinion. We have a resealable container down there. Um, it does have a Ziploc top but we have an actual little bucket that we can put them in. Um, so picked up those. And then they didn't have the multi-surface spray in um, the oat scent or the peppermint scent anymore. So I got honeysuckle to try. Uh, I keep trying different ones until I find one I like. Um, I really wish that they had the oat one in everything uh, cause I would live my happy life. And then I also picked up the dishwashing soap uh, as well. And I really, really like this. I haven't, let me smell this because I haven't smelled the honeysuckle one yet. Um, and I'm going to be using it anyway. Ooh, that smells good. Okay. I like. Um, yeah. And then the other two things are just backups of the uh, Mrs. Meyer soap and the foaming soap. And that is it for my Grove haul. Yay. Um, I haven't really done it before, uh, where I do our grocery store haul. Uh, there's three of us and I cook seven days a week and it's a lot. So I didn't know if you guys would be interested. If you are, put it down below and I will try to get together a video for it. 
Um, if not, I will just do the specialty stores like I have been. Um, by the way, if you guys are interested in Grove, it is not a sponsored video, but there is a link down below. If you sign up to try out Grove Collective, I think I get $10 in Grove cash that I can use on another order. Um, but don't feel obligated. You can just go to, the, you know, to Google and search Grove Collaborative and go to the link without clicking on mine if you want. Um, but I hope you guys try it out. They got some really good items that I think you would be as happy as I am with. So, uh, yeah, we're good to go. Hey guys. So I am going to be doing a version of a blueberry French toast casserole. Um, Jen from Jen's WW Journey, I believe it is. She did one and I kind of, um, substituted some things and, uh, it works out to be six points versus eight points from the recipe she had. Um, so I have to give her credit. I'm not sure where she got the original recipe from, but, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our casserole dish and we're just going to spray it down with some cooking spray so it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to set it to the side here so we can work on other things. I need that for the eggs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take my bread knife and I'm just going to cube up this bread. Um, this is just 647 bread. When I did the recipe, I put 12 slices um, on it. And I'm just kind of making it like a crouton size, kind of. And this is going to be part of my breakfast during the week. Um, I probably won't do like a whole piece because I think it, the way I did it, it serves, it's six servings. So I could probably cut it down more and make it, you know, just a couple points and have it with some eggs or an egg burrito, which is what I've been making. Um, I did do another video a little while ago with the egg sticks um, that I make for the egg burritos. And we've really been liking those. So, always nice to have a little something sweet, you know, to go along with the other stuff here. And it does seem like it's a lot of bread, but it's going to be soaking up egg mixture. So um, you want to make sure that you have enough. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to need 12 slices. I'll let you know if I end up using all 12 or not. <clears throat> you just kind of want to make sure you're crumbling it because uh, they do stick together when you cut them. Just so that you have enough pieces in there. Sorry about my squeaky floor. <laughs> it does look like I'm going to end up using them all, but we'll see. I think it's going to be good with 10. So um, I'll take the other two off. So it'll be five points per serving instead of the ten point or six points that I originally said it was going to be. Okay, so now that we got the bread in the bottom of it, um, we are going to grab an extra mixing bowl. Uh, I'll use one of these. And we're going to do two thirds of a cup of the cream cheese and five tablespoons of a uh, golden sweetener alternative. Mine is Truvia. I know that there's several brands out there that you can use, but that's what I'm going to use. Oh. 
I'm going to add my little spatula here. Measuring spoons are dirty, so I'm just going to use a regular spoon. I'm just going to do a heaping uh, teaspoon here because um, I don't have tablespoons available right now. I wasn't very prepared for this. sugar blend that I got. I got this at my local grocery store. Um, I know Lacano is uh, Lacanto. Lacanto is another brand. I think you can get that on Amazon. Um, so that could always be an option as well. And you just want to make sure that you mix up this cream cheese and the brown sugar blend. Make sure it's all incorporated in there. Going to be for part of the topping, so you want to make sure you get it in there good. There we go, that looks pretty good. So I'll set that over here for now. And then, uh, oh, I guess it goes in now. I thought it was part of the topping, but it's not. It's actually part of the interior of the um, French toast. So you're just going to take spoonfuls and plop it down in to your French toast bread. One thing being on Weight Watchers that I have missed is eating the breakfast that I love to eat. So this is a great alternative to something that I used to love to eat a lot, which is stuffed French toast. Um, and I'm fine with a healthy alternative too. So and you don't have to be precise. Um, it kind of, it's going to kind of wiggle its way around as you're baking it anyway and melt into all the spaces. So. Okay, and I'll bring you down so you can see. Oops. So this is what it'll look like. Oh. This is what it'll look like just with globs of the cream cheese mix in there. Okay, um, next we are going to sprinkle half of the blueberries in. And these are pre-washed. I'm just going to check for stems as I am putting them into the bread mixture. Because you don't want stems. For sure. and cream cheese. I'm really glad that um, Jen posted this recipe 
I just wanted to make it a little more point friendly for myself because I'm not real big on spending points for breakfast because I'm an evening snacker. So I am more apt to want to use those points at night. Okay, and then we got half of them in there. So now we are looking like this. So beautiful. Okay, and then, oh, I guess, I was only supposed to put half the bread in, so we're just gonna kind of uh, zhuzh it around here with the blueberries. It's not an exact science. Okay. Now we're gonna whisk together the eggs and the milk. eggs in there, the maple syrup, which I am using a sugar-free stevia syrup. I got this at Thrive Market. And it calls for a quarter of a cup. is a third of a cup so I'm not going to fill it all the way up but okay and then we're going to put in the vanilla extract which I'm just going to eyeball it's a um, tablespoon of vanilla extract you can put however much you like because vanilla is delicious. And then we are going to put in salt. I'm going to omit the salt because um, my husband is not a big salt person. And then we need one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, which is probably what I have in here because um, need to fill this up again and then a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg I'm just going to do a little shaky shake and then we need to put in the milk which we need two cups of milk I'm just going to reuse this one so I'll put six of these in a little full. That's right, if there's a well, there's a way, right? Okay, and then once we get that done, we are going to pour the egg mixture over the bread. Oh, we got a whole egg still there. Thought I had them all poked.
Okay, so we're going to do the streusel, and for the streusel you need the, I can't believe it's not butter spread, um, some golden monk uh, fruit or similar. I'll be using the trivia again. And you need a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now you can do this where you make up the casserole portion, let it sit for four to six hours, and then do the streusel topping and put it in the oven. I'm just going to straight up do it. I'm, I very rarely late, um, just because I have other things I need to do, like cook dinner after this. Okay, and we need four tablespoons, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball, and I'm going to do different blobs at different spots because it's supposed to be crumbly um, to make your streusel top. And then you're just going to kind of mix it around with your fork. kind of crumbly like this. You can make little balls with it um, and you're just going to sprinkle it over the top. And again, like with the cream cheese, you just want to kind of just dollop it wherever. It doesn't have to be precise. It doesn't have to be in rows. It just needs to be on it. And as you can tell, I am a home chef. I am not a professional chef. I make mistakes. I've been cooking a long time, so I do know how to fix those mistakes if when I come across them. But um, unless you do something like use expired baking powder like I did with those muffins, they would have been really awesome too. They smelled great. They just didn't taste very good. Okay. And here we go. And it needs to go in the oven. My hands are all goopy. Let me ungoop. You're going to bake this at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. You're going to want to cover it first. And then after the 45 minute mark, you're going to uncover it and cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes. And here's our product. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to cook dinner. Um, I'm doing my spin on a Thai peanut chicken dish. Um, I just take some frozen veg, um, some chicken that I'm gonna cut up into pieces, and some onion and put it in the pan, get that all nice and cooked up, and then I'm gonna cook up these um, Pad Thai rice noodles. Um, and have those with it. They take about five minutes, so I won't turn on the boiling water until later, plus my uh, camera stand is real close. So I'm gonna cook the, the chicken and peanut sauce part first so you guys can see it. I know the view is really bad, but um, I'm trying to figure out how to get it a little bit better, uh, but at least you can follow along. So I have two large chicken breasts here that I'm going to trim the fat off of and uh, chunk up it's still a little frozen but that's all right it cooks in the pan and it's easier to get the fat off of the chicken that way
start cutting, cutting up some of the chicken, I'm going to take some olive oil and I'm going to put it in the pan so that when I put the chicken in there, it has something to slide around on. So I'm making my chunks about this size. fourths of an onion. I made sure to wash this board off in my hands before touching it because we don't need the salmonella. Turn our burner on and we got that much chicken and onion. I would have put more in if I would have had a whole onion but I wanted to use this one up. Put some pepper in there. You could throw garlic in here if you wanted to. We don't eat garlic, so we won't be putting that in. And we're gonna just cook some chicken. Now that we've got the chicken all cooked up, we're going to add the veg. Let those cook for a while. that's steaming up we're going to get our sauce ready to go in some of the Sanjay Thai peanut sauce I got this on Thrive Market and do about a quarter of a cup Some sriracha. And then we're going to add some peanut butter. This is the peanut butter I'm using from Thrive. this together. Hopefully I didn't put too much sriracha in there. And this is what the sauce will look like. It's just a runny sauce. The pasta will help soak that up. Okay, and now I've got my water on. Um, some people salt noodles. I am not salting these. I think there's going to be enough salt between the, the sauce um, itself, so it doesn't need to have more salt. So I'm just going to wait for this to come to a boil and put our noodles in. Okay, so we got the uh, noodles going in. Wait 
five minutes and we will put it all together. While the noodles are going, I'm going to take the chicken and vegetables out because there's too much water in there and put it into this nice bowl and then I'll add the noodles in when they're done. A few moments later Stir it all up and stir it in. Make sure it's in there good. Oh, it smells so good. And this is what it looks like. It's really super delicious. It's six points on blue per serving. I'm not sure on green or purple because this is my own recipe, um, but I'll try to put it in a tracker and figure out if I can figure the points out for it. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.